Welcome to my Celestron Powerseeker 50AZ telescope review. Today I'd like to give you a closer look at this particular telescope. I'd like to walk you through my experiences since I bought it and began using it. And I'd also like to give my recommendations for who I think it'd be best for. So here we can see the telescope all set up. And I must admit, I was really, really impressed with how quickly it took me to set this up from all of the pieces that came in the box. So it is pre-assembled, meaning a lot of these pieces are, there's nothing you need to do other than just basically pull them all together. And there was around 20 steps in the instructions that came. And I must admit, it probably took me about 10 minutes to do from start to finish. And by the end, I had this telescope ready to use. It's an incredibly lightweight telescope. So even with the tripod, so if I pick this up here, even with this, it's, I think it's around two pounds. But as you can see, that's just in one of my, one of my hands there. So, and it still feels relatively light. So it's about one kilogram or two pounds, which is really, really good for kind of quick moving. Some people have said that that has obviously an impact on its stability, but I found on a, on a kind of, um, on a level surface, um, you know, protected from the elements, it's absolutely fine. The tripod legs themselves do have uh, this kind of rubber coating, so that does give some additional grip, and you just need to make sure, of course, that the tripod legs are set out on an even kill. They're all kind of the same length, uh, and you've pulled them out properly and put in these clips as well, so hopefully you can see that. While I'm kind of down here, I'll just show you this accessory tray. So you get this included along with three different eyepieces. So one of them gives you 20 times, no, sorry, 30 times magnification. The other one gives you 50 times magnification. And then the third one gives you 150 times magnification. So obviously you use those depending on what you want to see and kind of how far you want to, to venture into the sky. Here is uh, the diagonal that you set up, and this is where you put the eyepiece. So you can see there's lots of different kind of screws that you put the pieces in place and keep them secure. So if I wanted to change the eyepiece, you just unscrew this, put a new eyepiece in, and then screw that back on. Very, very simple. This is the finder scope, which is very, very useful uh, for quickly identifying things in the sky. Um, yeah, that's you attach that again with the same kind of concept. You've got these little screws here, uh, and it's kind of you, you can just kind of use it straight away. The optical tube itself, again, it's very lightweight and it's kind of fixed to uh, the Altazimut mount um, with this kind of screw. So this kind of keeps it secure and because of the Altazimut mount, it's a kind of point and shoot. So as you can see, you can, you can move it in any direction depending on where you want to look. So they're really, really good features. I really, really like all of those about it. Um, it's... Another thing is you don't need any you don't need any tools to do that. So it's just with your bare hands to set it up, which is really really good as well. Now, I've talked about the viewing attachments. Um, it's it is well constructed. I do really like that about it, and I do like the fact that as I've mentioned so far in this review, it's it's. First and foremost, it's for use with astronomy. So I particularly like observing the moon. It's really, really good for, for looking at the craters and also looking at kind of star stars um, and, and kind of broad elements of the sky as well. So really, really enjoy it for that. Um, but you can also use this for terrestrial viewing as well. So that's another bonus of this telescope because it's not, it has a two inch aperture. Um, so it's, it's a, you could use it for terrestrial viewing. So whether you wanted to watch kind of wildlife, look out at the sea, those kind of things, it's really, really good for that bird watching as well. Uh, I know some people use this telescope for. Um, now, who do I recommend this telescope for? Well, I think it's great as a gift to kind of any, any child or anyone who's kind of um, in their early teens. It's really, really good for that. It's a very, very affordable price point and it's made by Celestron, so it's a kind of reputable brand, probably the biggest and most reputable on the market apart from say Orion as well. Um, so yeah, it's a great gift for any kind of young enthusiast. It comes with a warranty as well. So that's really, really good, uh, especially if you're kind of gifting. Um, I also think it's really, really good for anyone who's kind of new to astronomy and is not quite sure if they're going to get into the hobby. Uh, it's, as, as I say, at, at that price point that you can get it at, it's very affordable and it's just a good way to kind of, yeah, see if astronomy is for you. I probably wouldn't recommend it to anyone who's really, really serious or looking obviously for an upgrade on a, on a telescope. It's, it's not your kind of thing. It's probably not powerful enough. You'll probably kind of you'll quickly outgrow it if, if it's your first telescope and you're, you're really serious about astronomy. So yeah, it's anyone who wants to dip their toes, not quite sure if it's for them, but overall for a first, first telescope or as a gift, 
um, it is really really good it, it ticks all the boxes easy setup it's light it's a easy to use effective and yeah overall that hope this was my Celestron Powerseeker 50 AZ review I hope it was useful I hope you got a good glimpse of all of the various elements and got an understanding as to how it works and who it's best for